five. Happening today, President Trump will announce his pick to join the Supreme Court. He'll need the support of nearly all Senate Republicans. Our Abigail James joining us live from the newsroom this morning. Abby, he's now narrowed the field down to four top contenders. What can you tell us about them? Well, Joe, that's correct. The president was still deciding on a Supreme Court nominee as he traveled back to the White House yesterday. He says he's very close to making a decision. The four believed to be Amy Coney Barrett, Thomas Hardiman, Brett Kavanaugh, and Raymond Kethledge. Barrett has the least experience on the bench and has emphasized social issues. Kavanaugh has, has extensive experience working in D.C. courts and its political scene. Kethledge has built his conservative judicial credentials in federal court in Michigan and removed from Washington politics. And Hardiman was the runner up to Neil Gorsuch for the president's first Supreme Court nomination. Now, the president will need the support of nearly all Senate Republicans, though we know Maine Senator Susan Collins said she would vote no for a Supreme Court nominee who would consider overturning Roe versus Wade. Well, all conservative Two of the candidates, Bar Barrett and Kethledge, have said they expect the court's uh, precinct on this case to stand. Neither Hardiman nor Kavanaugh have weighed in on the issue. But if Republicans stick together, there's nothing Democrats, Democrats can do to stop the confirmation. Now, the new justice will replace Justice Anthony Kennedy, whose last day is July 31st. Republicans want the new judge seated by this fall. Live in the newsroom, Abigail James, KCTV5 News. The president is expected to announce his decision live at 8 o'clock tonight. You can watch it right here on KCTV5. Be sure to stick around for reaction from local lawmakers on our news at 10 o'clock.